Hi guys, TechGirl88 here, and in today's video I'm going to be talking a bit about the uh, slowness that some users have experienced with Ubuntu uh, running on their Acer Chromebook C7. Uh, so I've been seeing a lot of uh, posts from people saying that Ubuntu, after they've installed it on their Chromebook C7, uh, has run a little bit slow. And it's not really Ubuntu itself that's running slow, but rather the interface. As you can see, this is this is the interface right here. You can see there's a bit of a lag. Um, for instance, when I go to you know launch settings, it takes a little bit of time. It's not instantaneous like it really should be. Um, so the interface that Ubuntu comes with by default is called Unity, and Unity is really pretty. It's really nice looking, but it bogs down uh, solar systems like this. Um, so to get around that, it's actually best to install a basic, more basic interface um, that takes up less memory and less resources. So um, in today's video, I'll be showing you how to do that. Now, the interface I'm talking about, of course, is Xubuntu. Um, it's been around for a while. Um, it runs on any computer, really, that's running Ubuntu, um, or Linux for that matter. Uh, so it works really well, but of course it's not going to be as pretty to look at as Unity, but I think you'll get used to it after a while and it'll actually make your Chromebook that much better. Okay, so to install Xubuntu on your computer, your Chromebook C7, you're going to first launch um, the terminal right here. And we're just going to type in a simple command. Zoom in here. All right. All right. So we're going to type in sudo. apt get install x12 desktop. And we're going to type enter and it's going to ask for our pass password, which unless you've changed, it's going to be user. And so usually what will happen is it'll install, it'll ask you if you want to um, allow the installation by typing the Y key or yes. Um, of course it's telling me it's already installed. Uh, so what I'll do is I will switch over and show you what it looks like. Alright, so for those wondering, um, once you've installed Xubuntu on your computer, you can still switch back to the uh, Ubuntu interface, uh, the Unity interface. Um, so in this case, I was already in Unity. I was showing you what it looked like and uh, how to install Xubuntu on there. Um, so to switch over, it's real simple. You just go to your login screen. You can see I'm right here and you click the settings button up here and you just select which desktop you want to log into. I'll show you it real quick. And you can see, so I'm choosing to log into Xubuntu. Of course you can log into Ubuntu if you're wanting to go back to that after using Xubuntu. So I'm just going to type in my password. All right, so here we go. We're now in a Xubuntu um, session. So I'll just I'll show you real quick how quick how much quicker things tend to load uh, with Xubuntu Ubuntu as opposed to Unity. So as you can see, um, the menu response time is pretty much instantaneous. You can see I'm moving with very little to no lag, um, which is great compared to how it was with Unity. And as you can see, as you're about to see. Um, when I go to launch a program, whether it's Chrome or any other program, 
it tends to launch a lot faster and smoother on Xubuntu as, as opposed to Unity, which is one good reason to uh, use Xubuntu instead of Unity. Um, of course, you want your computer to run fast. You don't want to have to wait for applications to load. Um, yeah, it's nice to have a really printer, pretty interface, but if it's going to lag, if it's going to slow you down, it's not so useful. Um, so that's one advantage of Xubuntu, is uh, it's, it's much faster than Unity. As you can see, it's a very basic interface. Um, but when you launch applications, um, they'll just show up up here as Windows. And then the other nice thing is you have a little bit of a dock down here. Um, which also is very responsive, very quick. Let's open a terminal interface to show you. So it's very quick. No lag. And of course, those who have used uh, OS X um, will be familiar with the dock, so it's kind of a nice little touch. Reminds you a bit, bit of uh, OS X. Um, so there you have it. This is the Xubuntu interface. Uh, installing it on your Chromebook will make your Chromebook after installing Ubuntu significantly faster. I can pretty much guarantee it. Um, it'll still be just as reliable, if not more reliable, than with the uh, plain Unity interface for Ubuntu. Uh, so in future videos I will be uh, showing you more ways you can speed up your Chromebook after installing Ubuntu. Um, but that's it for today. I'll see you in my next video, and thanks for viewing and subscribing.